All right, we're back here out uh, at the World Championships with Jay Concepts. We got Cole Ogden here, one of the drivers here this weekend, racing for Mugen and Jay Concepts. Uh, Cole, uh, two qualifiers yesterday, we got two today. Uh, talk to us about yesterday and how it went for you. And uh, you were in race one, and uh, yeah, race you, you started early, and uh, you ended early, and today it's the opposite. So talk to us about uh, yesterday. Yeah, qualifying for me didn't go too good for me in uh, round one. Uh, I had a couple mistakes. Well, one mistake by me and coming in pit lane that kind of bit me. But the second call went went uh, way better. Uh, definitely on pace with uh, the top five guys. Um, I just, once again, my fault. But I wrecked on the last lap, which cost me five or six seconds. But I still put it in top 15, so I'm pretty happy with my car. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Realistically, what do you... What do you think's going on with the track? I mean, obviously there's some people that have been loud on, on uh, social media talking about uh, what's going on. What exactly happened uh, in that first race yesterday and what were people uh, a little bit upset about? Well, I think it's just the inconsistency in watering. I mean, we were in race one and uh, they didn't really take too much of a break in between uh, race 18 and, and one. And they kind of just flooded the track for us. But, uh, and you know, you got people complaining about it, but I mean, we're all complaining about it. and Not really much of us are showing it, only a couple of us, but you know, we're all racing on the same track in race one, but I mean, it is what it is. And we're at the end of the, uh, the races today, so it should be better. The one thing about eight scale though is, you know, it does, you know, the tracks matters every single time and it's affecting your qualifying speed and pace. But at the end of the day, it's, it seems to be close enough to where you can still run a semi-final uh, type pace, and that's that's the goal at the end of the day, right? Yeah, so you want to get in that semi-final where you can battle it out and everyone's on the same conditions, and then you can kind of sort it out from there. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, like qualifying would be inconsistent with watering, but yeah, semis should be good because we'll all be on the same surface at the same time, and so it should go well. I mean, it's like if you're at an electric race, and you tried to maintain the track like this, it would just would not work at all. Yeah. Here it works because the races are longer, and you know the the inconsistency of the bumps and things. They kind of it it evens things out a little bit. Uh, there are differences. That's what guys are upset about because they feel like, hey, you know, if I'm fast enough to TQ, I should be able to TQ on every surface, any race number that I'm in. And I think that's what people are a little bit upset about. Today it's going to flip flop, though, and you guys are going to be up kind of last. So what's going to happen is you're going to get probably the driest track for round one. And then at the end, we're going to be running under the lights probably, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't really get, it got dark pretty early yesterday. So we're at the end of the quals today. So yeah, it'll be dark and it'll definitely be different. It'll cool off and the track will get get cooler. So we'll see how, it, we'll see what happens. Yeah, usually based on my experience, it's, it's different because when the track is like this behind us, where it's a little bit wet and a little bit dry, and, the, and you can see really well, you can see the bumps. And you can see the car reacting to the bumps and you can make adjustments. When it gets dark out, the track is dark, and it's hard to, it's harder to see the bumps. Oh yeah, yeah, I would agree. Because the lights, the lights reflecting onto the track, you can't really judge the, the bumps as well. And there could be shadows, yeah. you can't really, yeah. So it, we'll see what happens. I mean, it, it, it might be tough, but. The, the thing is, is Probably when the track gets wet though at night and the moisture stays because of the no sun, that, then you're going to have probably a little extra grip. Uh, I, I would, yeah, I could agree with that. So, so we it, might we might be on the good side of things today. I mean, the the reality is is it makes this uh, it's a grind. I mean, you always have to be on your toes. I mean, with with this kind of racing, it's like you got to watch what's going on. You're watching the holes. You're watching the track. You're working on your car. The heats are flipping around, and you got to like reassess where you're at. And um, I mean, what is it like, kind of being in that from a racer perspective? I mean, there's only so much you can do, of course. You can only drive well, yeah. but what does it feel like to kind of race? It's, it's tough, like you said. You know, you got to stay on your toes. You got to watch the holes develop. You see how people's cars react, and then. You go back to the pits and you got to have tires, uh, you know, on standby for if it's too wet, if it's dry. Yeah. So. Well, that was one of the things, you know, I talked about. Uh, there was a lot of conversation after the Silver State we had here earlier in the year where 
they, they sealed the track, essentially. Um, you know, they like, they put chemicals on the track, but, you know, whatever. They basically uh, added a, um, you know, a conditioner to the track that made it hold together. Uh, you know, you raced at that race. Uh, what is it like kind of running the two different, I mean, we're at the same exact track. Yeah. The only thing different is the way it's been prepared. So what do you think, from your perspective, you know, um, you know, what, what is it like kind of being in a racing yeah. situation? I mean, it's... Like, like you said, I mean, we're at the same facility, but those Silver State was, was like racing on concrete. Yeah. And this is far from racing on concrete. You know, I mean, it's bumpy, loose, there's loam. The track's not really as hot as it should be, but I mean, it's just, it's very different. You go from, from one extreme to the other. You're on super, super high bite. We're running Y2, R2, O2s, and now we're running green, blue, and R2, but it is, it's very different. Uh, it's, it's a good thing we, we came here for both the races just to see the differences, but I mean, it's, I like, I kind of like this better, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's probably, I'd say kind of the off-road driver mentality is that they kind of like that idea that the track is getting torn up, that there's some advantage to them for being able to negotiate the ruts and get their car working. I mean, is that kind of how you feel about it? Yeah. Yeah. Navigating the bumps is definitely comes down to. To, to drivers, you know, you, you got to put the car where the bumps aren't, and if it's faster to go through the bumps, go through the bumps. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's kind of the little update here from today with Cole Ogden. Uh, wish him all the best of luck. He's uh, one of the fast guys out there, and uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll see you later today. Yeah.